What is up guys and welcome back to episode 3 of Road to Consistency. Today as you know I'll be back testing a month on EJ and we'll see the results at the end. If you're new to this channel and want to watch me progress throughout the years then click subscribe and hit the like button. Let's get into the back testing. Okay guys, so as you can see, there's not really much opportunity right now in the market. All we're doing is ascending in this channel. So we're just breaking highs and breaking lows. So it's ascending and I'm expecting a move down. So currently I'm not really looking for anything in the market. Okay guys, so as you see, we have started to see this impulse. Okay, we were in this ascending form. Okay, and we started to range a bit right there this was our range and now we've started to drop so if I have a bomb set up then I'm willing to take it to the downside guys so this would be the bomb set up but am I really willing to take it well no because check this out I've had this massive wick here which is one warning sign plus look at this impulse okay look at that impulse does it really is it really telling me that it wants to go down no so I'm not willing to risk 1% for this Okay guys, so if you look at this, so we have started to impulse a bit, okay? If you check out this candle, it's quite an impulsive candle and the trend has carried on. And it's started to get exhausted, but in this setup, I'm seeing a descending channel, okay? I'm seeing this sort of thing because it's breaking this low. It's re retesting. So, and all these wicks are telling me that price is pushing down, but then it's going back up again. Yes, it's breaking the lows but it's going back up and then we've seen this sort of candle so i'm willing to risk the one percent Okay guys, so what I saw, well I saw this ascending nature and then I really saw these massive impulses going down. So I wanted to get involved in the bomb, but just get my criteria. So I was happy until here because compared to this whole impulse, these candles until here aren't really that big or significant. But there was there were warning signs to be fair. This wick was a warning sign, but I would have still taken it because of this setup, okay? We're breaking highs, retracing, breaking highs, but we didn't retrace. So I was kind of off it. And plus this candle right here has just taken me off the setup completely. It's too impulsive. It's not showing me any signs that the market wants to continue with this big impulse. Guys, so as, I, as you see, I've drawn this V-saw shape. And what usually tends to happen is we follow in the second leg direction, so to the upside, but we'll see what happens. Plus you can see, we didn't take any trades here, and that's calm, because where would we have traded it, okay? All it's done is gone down, okay? Has it continued the trend? No, it's just become, it's just become ascending, a bit descending, ascending again, a few impulses, then became ascending, descending, ascending. So. There haven't been opportunities to trade, so I'm happy with not. I'm happy with just sitting on my hands and waiting for the market to show me something. Okay, guys. So what we're we doing is just really range bound activity because, say this is the high and this is the low. All we're doing is we're breaking the low, 
I'm not breaking the high, okay? There's no commitment in the market, which to me just makes it seem like we're just going to be doing this for a while. Breaking highs, breaking lows, retracing, breaking highs, just stuff like that. So, not willing to get involved right in the market right now. Okay, guys, so what EJ likes to do is it likes to descend or ascend, but then continue in the same direction. So, it can ascend like this, but then continue to the upside. Or in our case right now, it's been descending like so, but then continue in the downside. So... I've seen that and um, I've seen this impulse move start to come down okay we've been breaking and this break was quite a bit this break was quite a bit so and I and so if we have no impulsive candles um, to the upside then I'm willing to take this bomb sell okay hey guys so this broke the low this candle right here so I'm not willing to take it anymore Okay guys, so as you see, I've taken only one trade this whole month, okay? And to be fair, this month has been quite corrective. I mean, we had this sort of ascending, but no real entry. Then we had an entry here, got a 0.15% out of the market, but the trend didn't continue, which is fine. We had the strong impulse down, but no entry signs, well, as, um, at least with the bomb entry, um, bomb setup. So, and apart from that, look at this, just been ranging, okay? There's no indication that the market wants to go one way. Yes, we've had impulses like this one, okay? We've had impulses like that one. But has the market really continued in that direction? Not really. Furthermore, haven't had any bomb setups, okay? So I'm completely fine with that, okay? We took 0.15% off the market in quite a range-bound market. And yeah, we ended this month with 0.15% up in the account. Well, not really the account, but theoretically and um yeah the trades i took followed my plan or the trade i took there were setups in there that i could have taken but it didn't follow my plan and even if i entered it just because of you know fomo i would have lost like two percent so i followed my plan and you know i'm going to keep improving my plan as we go on in these um episodes so yeah all good yeah guys see you in the next episode episode four of road to consistency any suggestions you have, comment them down below in the comment section. And yeah, see you next time.